Jason Allen here from Play It Software. Today I'm going to take you through the new features in Play It Live version 2.01. The first feature to talk about is the aux input. This new feature will allow you to play audio from a live input source, such as satellite news or even another studio. This has been a widely requested feature. It's been top of the feature request page for some time. Now you can select the input that you want to play from, schedule this at a specific time, and it'll play that, for example, at the top of the hour. Next feature to talk about is user management. It's now possible to set up users and restrict them to specific features in the user interface. So this is a purely optional feature. You can switch this on if you want to use it. You can now allow users to log in with a username and password. And if a restricted user logs in, you can set them up to stop them from managing tracks, track groups, playing with the playout log, editing settings, so when you first open Play It Live, you can be prompted for a login and administrators can log in and do what they were able to do previously, editing whatever data they want to edit. And finally, the last feature to talk about is the new keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts have been in Play It Live for quite some time. These are just some new actions that you can perform with the keyboard shortcuts. So the first one is changing the segue type of the currently playing track. This will allow you to quickly change a track from playing next or stopping at the end of that track. And the second new keyboard action that can be performed from keyboard shortcuts is queuing up a track to play next after the currently playing track from the one you've selected in the track list. So you can go to the track list, click on a track, press a key on your keyboard and move that track to play next in the log. That's all the new features in Play It Live version 2.01. So here's a demo. So this is Play It Live version 2.01. You can download this from playitsoftware.com forward slash live and click the download button. So the first feature to show you is the aux input. So you can just simply drag it from this button over here um, into your log and you'll be prompted to give the input a title. So I can just select news, um, select an input. So let's choose uh, one of my auxiliary uh, virtual inputs here and uh, choose the duration, so for example, two minutes, and click on OK. And this will insert the item into the log, and you can see here that there's two minutes playing for this item. I'll show you this in a second, how this all works together in reality. Uh, because it's now 25 minutes to three in the afternoon, I made a recording of how it looks when it plays the news at the top of the hour. So you can have a look at this now. Play it radio. From the Sky News Centre at midday, the husband of a British woman jailed in Iran says he's hopeful about Boris Johnson's meeting with his counterpart in the country. The batsman, who's part of the second string line squad, has been dropped from their current Ashes Tour match against a Cricket Australia 11. That's the latest. I'm Kiran Kaur. From All Saints to Lady Gaga, this is Play It Naughties. So as you can see there, the audio plays out uh, at the top of the R, plays a jingle and then straight into the next song. So to show you how you would do this uh, in an automated fashion, because obviously I've just dragged and dropped uh, the live news item onto the log, I'll show you uh, how you would do this uh, via scheduling. Uh, so you can go to manage and you can go to clocks and I've already set this up, uh, news at the top of the hour. So uh, this is my simple clock. 
um, if you don't fill anything in here at the bottom, it will use the uh, default playout pattern uh, to fill in the rest of the tracks. I just have this set up as songs, so I'll just keep playing songs. Uh, top of the R here, I can play a hard uh, fixed time marker, which will uh, ensure that the news is always at the top of the R. And then I can choose the inputs, um, which is uh, this particular input with this title. So it will keep placing this item into the log uh, automatically at the top of each R when this clock is scheduled. So this clock uh, can be scheduled uh, into this slot. Uh, so I've got uh, my new clock that I created earlier on today. Um, but at 2 o'clock I can choose my news at the top of the hour clock and I can have this repeat uh, every day, every hour at uh, 2 o'clock and it will go through and it will keep playing my news at the top of the hour uh, for 2 and at 2 o'clock. So I go into my log and I can jump to the next hour for example and I can unschedule all that stuff I've already scheduled and click on schedule to schedule my new clock. So they insert the fixed time marker and the uh, auxiliary input at 3 o'clock and then just play uh, the songs that were in my player pattern. So that's how you would automatically add the news into your log. Next item to talk about is the user management. So this can be found in Manage and Users. And as you can see here, I have one user always here, the administrator. If I click on this user, display name, you can change this. You can't change the username and you can give it a password. If you don't enter a password, it won't change the password. Um, but you can generate a new password for that administrator if you want to. This will generate you a password, fill it into this box and change the password. You can then prompt the user to change their password when they log on for the first time. I'll just generate a new password and take a copy of this one this time and click on OK and I'm going to prompt the user to change their password. So I'm now going to require a user to log in to play it live whenever they use the software. This means the I'm going to be immediately prompted for this password. So I'm going to keep a copy of that to make sure that I don't lose it. So I've been prompted to log in to play it live now because all users now have to log in uh, to use the software when that checkbox is checked. I can type in my username, which is admin, and take that password, which I've kept safe, and pa type that into here. I'm now prompted to enter a new password. So I can now enter a new password, if I can type correctly, and click on change password. I'm now logged in as administrator, which you can see at the top right of the screen. If I don't want to log on anymore, and I want some other user to use the software, and click on administrator and click on log off and now I'm shown the login screen again for play it live. If I type in password and it's incorrect I get username and password is invalid. I can then type in the real password that I entered and log in. Now that I'm logged in as administrator I can go to manage and go to users. I'm going to create a new user for little untrusted Jimmy. So Jimmy has a username Jimmy and I'm going to generate a password for him and give it to him later. And then when he logs on for the first time he can change his password. We don't really trust Jimmy. He only does a radio show and he, a few weeks ago he deleted all the tracks. So we want to restrict him from deleting tracks. In fact, we don't want him to do any of this stuff. We just want him to come in, do his show, and leave. So you can take whatever features you want to give the user. Um, by default, they have very little privileges apart from drag and drop songs and add them to the log. If you take administrator, all this stuff gets disabled because you can do everything. But little Jimmy, he can't do much. So I'm going to add him in there and click on OK. So because I'm this still the administrator, and as you can see, I can still do all these things. Everything is still enabled. I'm going to log off now, and little Jimmy is going to come in and do his show. Oh, Jimmy's logging on for the first time, so he needs to change his password. So we'll enter that now. So 
So Jimmy's now logged in, says little Jimmy. And if I go to anything here, these are all greyed out and you can't make any changes to any of the data that's on the system. But we can still drag on tracks as you normally would to do your show. Just a little note here, if you log off and you can't remember your admin password, you can reset your admin password if you are the person who set up the software in the first place. So everyone who uses the software will have a Play It Software account. And on that account, you can go to this page and reset your admin password. So to do that, you can log on to a Play It Software website, enter this part one of the code. It will give you part two of the code and you enter that in here and you can click reset and it will allow you to log in and change your admin password. The final thing to talk about is, I'll log back in again. The final thing to talk about is the new keyboard shortcuts. So if I go to file and I go to settings and go to keyboard, you can see that I've filled in a few of these commands that you can perform with the keyboard. So the newly added ones are insert selected track to play next and toggle current item segue type. And these are lines up with F2 and F5. So I'll demonstrate these for you now. So the current track, I'm gonna start playing this track. So I'm playing the Lost Profits and I want to toggle the segue type because I don't want it to the next track to play. So it's just very simple for me to hit F2 or whatever key you've configured to easily switch the currently playing track to, to uh, stop or play next. So I can toggle these uh, back and forth. So now I'm looking through my track list and I've got lots of tracks here and I can find uh, my Guns N' Roses track, Welcome to the Jungle, for example. And I have lined up the F5 key to easily just queue up the track that I've played uh, or I've selected here on the track list. We'll queue up uh, Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle to play next. Once I, I finish this track and hit play again, obviously, because I've stopped the uh, stop the segue at the end of that track. That's all the new features in Play It Live version 2.01. I welcome your feedback in the comments below and you can download this from playitsoftware.com forward slash live. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software. <laughs>